Hey guys, good morning. We're coming. I'm coming down to see, say bye to the owner because I'm real good friends with him, and we'll be back. Just wanted to come down and say bye to him. I want to say bye to Ernest because he's got the Prevo, so I just wanted to say bye. See you later. Hey. <laughs> and then I gotta say Enjoy. bye to John. John's the owner of the RV park, Leisure Acres, real good guy. We'll be back in 30 days to see him. Hallelujah. I'm gonna trust him with my RV. To the king. And the golf cart, that's Ruby Red. To the king? What yeah. you got going on here? You're trying to say, you the boss. You're trying to figure your own internet out? Uh, and and uh, no, 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 no. I'm down here trying to satisfy Ross. Yeah, because Ross needs some bandwidth for our YouTube videos. He needs to that's right. step it up a notch. He's able to get his YouTube videos up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. He's, he's yapping again. Non stop, and I'm gonna put the camera on and I get guaranteed he's gonna stop. What did you say you know, about me? You know, Are you gonna fix this? He wouldn't go, you know, he says he wasn't gonna be gone more. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ross told me when he comes back in 30 days, he's gonna help me get me some nice boxes for my internet, you know. And uh, I don't I'm believe just, I just want to know if I need to do this while he's gone or wait till he gets back. What he needs to do is he needs to do it while I'm gone so when I get back. The internet's gonna be fast, Jack. I want some internet. You messed with it and that's tore up, Ross. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I gotta get internet. I gotta get this YouTube uploaded. Well. So take that off, put that plug in there, and then plug that plug in there. Tell me how to do it. All right, put it reverse, take that off. Watch your fingers, you're gonna put the drill through your fingers. Makita drill. Well, we don't want to market advertise for them. There's thousands of people watching this. Okay, we don't want to advertise for them. I'll tell you what, guys, I do, I do, I, I, I will say that the Leisure Acres Park, it's a pretty nice park. I mean, if you just look around, That's right. come out here, come out here and uh, stay for at least a week, you know, you're in the woods, but you know, especially in the fall time, it's really nice out here. The leaves change and the mountains, it's beautiful. Well, Ernest was nice enough to show me his Prevo, Prevost motor. What is that? Over the road air. Over the road air. $30,000 for this. 30000 just for this? Ooh. And that's an 8V92 Detroit diesel engine. 8V92 Detroit diesel engine. 500 horsepower. 500 horsepower. Whoa, that's a monster. Mm -hmm. Is this all stainless steel? I believe so. Or galvanized? Wow, that's not rusted at all. Mm -hmm. That's aluminum. No, that's steel. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. So if you guys want to get a bus, you can get one of these used for 100 grand. I think they're a million and a half new. But the stainless steel alone on the outside is about sixty thousand dollars oh let me, let me see that i want to see that what is this a generator what is that a four cylinder right. we'll talk to you see you see you see you in um a month 30 days right, have a good one buddy you be careful thanks have a good one speed, brother. yep <laughs> he's still, he's still drinking. <laughs> hey, you hear anything in the back? Man, what'd you do to my truck? What is that? Now you're not gonna punch me or anything, are you? There's nothing in the back. Hey, wait, don't look back there. Do you have mirrors in your truck? Mirrors. <laughs> Sorry about that, John. Have a good one. Well, we're gonna put some Rain-X on the. Ernest, let me have a little spurt of Rain-X on the windshield on the rig because it might rain tomorrow and the wipers kind of slow. So it's a good thing to do. And I'm gonna grease underneath the front real quick with a little rag, a little thing to lay on. Put some grease in there. I don't know when the last time anything was greased, so you just don't know. You got to do it. Yep. Got that windshield all done. Well, it's going to be a big trip for me tomorrow. I'm going to have my friend Andy come and drive. We're going to hook it up, test the brakes, make sure the uh, brake controller works, which it does. Um, uh, just to make sure, because what if I don't even know how much to adjust them, because I don't know how much... I'm sure the big rig will stop the trailer on its own without brakes. But I don't want to wear the brakes out. Um, 
so you feel less chucking and jerking when you have the back brakes working too. So I guess there's a special brake controller on there that uh, adjusts the brakes with less voltage. So it's more of a variable speed kind of adjustment. I don't know. Hey guys, I have to apologize. Heather's not in the videos today. Um, or is she? I forget. But I want to show you what, what, what had to be done. Um, sorry about your TV, John. I just happened to see it laying around and tied it to your bumper. I apologize. But anyways, we're off tomorrow. Um, we're going to get up early and you're going to see tomorrow. You guys got to watch tomorrow. So put it in your little schedule to watch us. We're pulling this rig out of here. Brand new, fresh, hooking it to a new truck. I've never hooked it to the big rig. And we're going to roll out of here. So keep watching. Have a good night, guys. And, um, well, you know what to do. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.